Uh, hey, what's up? This is John McEntee from Incantation and Funerous. Um, I'm doing my first uh, video blog. Um, it's new to me, so, you know, hopefully it doesn't suck too bad. But uh, I just wanted to answer some questions from some people that have been contacting me lately. So, um, I don't know, this blog's going to be about my... Um, you know, what pedals and stuff like that I'm using. So, um, hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, and it doesn't suck. Okay. Um, well, f first of all, in my pedal board, I got this Marley, um, Wah pedal. Um, I think it's pretty badass. I used Marley in the past, but, um, I just got a new one recently because, uh, my old one got stolen probably about, I don't know, 10 years ago, and I wasn't really using that many pedals, uh, back at that time due to, um, you know, I was the only guitar player in the band, and it just seemed like more of a pain in the ass. Uh, I was more worried about keeping the rhythms nice and thick and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I don't know, I like using the Marley uh, wah pedal, especially because it has a spring that, um, makes it really comfortable to, um, you know, do the wah, it actually, you know, kind of gives you a little tension on your feet and stuff, and I, I find it to be a real big help, especially because a lot of the leads are really close to vocal parts, um, sometimes they're a tad bit over, and just to have that tension just helps me gauge it better, um, you know, while I'm playing. I really like the um, overall wah sound. I think it's, um, you know, it's really sick. I've been a fan of that sound uh, pretty much since I, you know, I wouldn't say the first time I heard it, but once I heard it used, say, by uh, Morbid Angel on Abominations of Desolation, uh, I'm sure they weren't using a Morley. I really don't know what uh, Trey or Richard were using, but... Um, I just like the way it just helped make an extra demonic vibe to the whole um, soloing and stuff. So for me, uh, I like it, and um, I'm happy to be uh, using one again. I first uh, learned about the Morley pedal from uh, Moises from Chrissian. Uh I was on tour with Chrissy and Ragnarok and uh, Behemoth. Um, I don't know. It must have been about 10 years ago. I'm not really sure. It was a European tour. I seen him using it, and I just asked him if I could try it out because uh, I really uh, didn't like um, the other uh, wah pedals. I, I always felt, felt that they felt uncomfortable, but um, I used it, and pretty much since then I've been a fan of Marley. Um, you know, I'm open to trying other ones in the future, but um, you know, for now this one seems to work really good, so I, I go with it. You know. Um, pretty much besides that, I have the, uh, Super Overdrive, um, you know, generic, um, lead boost kind of thing, just to give it a little extra bite in the, um, lead sound and stuff like that, a little more, a little more gain. Um, it's, it might not be the best thing to use, but I'm only doing, like, three, four leads that I really use it on in our set at the moment, so it's sufficient. One day I might try out a Tube Screamer. I just don't have one myself, so I never try one out. And um, from what I hear, uh, Alex tells me that um, they're pretty badass. So, you know, I mean, I'll try it. But for now, I'm using this. Then, besides that, I got a Chromatic Tuner. Um, you know, it's a generic boss one. Um, it wasn't really my first choice. My first choice is actually this um, one over here, the Korg. Um, you can't really see it so well, but it has a nice big uh, number on where you're tuning to, and I like that. But, um, this one has a number two, just not quite as big. Um, but I like it because it has that, this, um, thing over here. I mean, you probably can't see it, but you plug in the power to here, and then this kind of distributes the power to the other pedals that I use. So I don't have to have three different, um you know, power cords going into it, so I, it's, I more or less took that out of convenience, um, I didn't want to have, like, one of those, um, I don't know, power distributor pedals and, uh, a, uh, tuner it just seemed like a stupid waste of space on the board, so, you know, I like to try to keep things as simple as possible, it's not as simple as it was 
you know, ten years ago or five years ago when I was doing when I was the only guitar player in a band. It was really simple, but I still try to keep it as simple as I can now. Um, another thing that I added to my um, setup, and this was just recently, like just last practice, I decided to break out the old. Um, hold on a second, let me get the light on here. You can't see the old quadriverb um, that I've been. Well, I had it sitting around for years, and I haven't been using it because I didn't have a power cord for it. Because when I was in Italy, we uh, played a uh, fest over there. Uh, it was a pretty cool fest, Cyclone, and um, a couple other bands. I can't even think right now. Seth, I think, played. Um, but anyway, um, I plugged it in, and I blew it out. Uh, the power cord, uh, you know, a little power adapter thing or whatever it's called. And... Um, I n never got a new one until about three months ago. I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna get another one just to have it because I'm this quadruverb sitting down here doing nothing for like ten years. So I figured I'd get it going again. And then at practice yesterday or two days ago, um, I was thinking, well, I, I got two heads here. Let me set it up like I used to for funerists because we only have one guitar player. That's me. So to have that, um, you know, total death, um, you know, stereo brutalizing sludge guitar sound it seemed like you know, it worked good and I just put on a generic setting uh, for stereo but I'm gonna screw around with it more in the future and try to get you know exactly the way I want it but I just wanted to test to see if it worked and it, it sounded great um, basically just run to two different heads uh, like this here and that here it's you know it worked out pretty good or whatever um, nothing too crazy but um yeah I think that's pretty much it so hopefully you enjoyed the um you know little web blog thing about this hopefully it answers some questions that uh, some of you guys asked and hopefully it didn't totally suck um not really um you know that rocking i'm sure if you think it sucks i'll i'll hear about it so it's no problem but um you know if you guys want to see more of um you know my whatever gear stuff or any other stuff you know behind the scenes stuff let me know and i'll uh, try to post up other cool things okay see ya